We are live, everybody. Good afternoon and welcome to Cigar Saturday. I got to do the topic today. I liked it. Did it sound he's, good? He's doing the intro. I like it. And and look at this. It's it's the whole Cigar Saturday crew, including Saj, yeah. Maddie. We're all in one place. This, this is crazy. How did that happen, Maddie? It, it's nuts. I'm pretty sure there's going to be warrants out for all of our arrests. So, um, you know, please let us at least finish the show first before contacting local authorities. Um, much love and respect to Peter and Aaron Grimm. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate you. Good to see you all. Thank you for Happy having to be us. Here. Oh, it's definitely an honor, and everybody who's watching. Uh, so over all the years, everyone asks, Maddie, where do you get those great hats from? I'm like, you don't need to ask me anymore. Now now Peter and Aaron can tell you on their own. It's from Peter Grimm, who's uh, who's been around probably selling hats almost as long as I've been alive. So the collection, <laughs> right? I think, right, since the 70s, correct? 89. 89. 30 years. 31 years. So I much love and much thanks. I always love my Peter Grimm lid. So guys, gals, follow Peter Grimm on Instagram. Take a look at petergrimm.com and take a look at some of their uh, some of their fine wear for both men and women. Uh, again, thank you and welcome to the show. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, so it's great to be here. Uh, and again, Maddie, tell us what uh, what have we been doing today? What, what would obviously... Great. First time I met Saj in person. I know Maddie for a while, but it's great to be here uh, with the whole crew. So, yeah, so it got to be a special day. Uh, you get to be on the road with us. And uh, considering the last 16 months that all of us have gone through, there haven't been an awful lot of people being able to do much with uh, with COVID going, going down. So we're uh, we're blessed to be all together for this. Uh, so we had some bourbon, some barbecue, some cigars. We, uh, we raised a lot of money for a great cause. So Chef Carl Ruiz, may rest in peace. Um, his charity was able to send underprivileged ch children and give them the opportunity to uh, to attend culinary school. And Ed Randolph, who will be joining us later, uh, winner of CHOP, and we're currently at his establishment right now. His charity was to feed local children that are in the area that have gone without food. So we're very proud to have spearheaded both of those events. Um, Tom was able to come out here and provide us with fine spirits. And great Sanj was able here. to make a couple of phone calls and provide us with, with great cigars from uh, vendors that are our friends. And I was able to supply a bunch of the swag and uh, and get all, all of us together. So we're we're happy to enjoy this special day with you guys again. Yes. Much thanks for uh, for coming online with us. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm so happy, excited that you guys asked us. This is cool. We've never done anything like this. Yeah. 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 So so how's how's everything? Here? How's the uh, how's the hat business doing? I love what Maddie wears. But how's everything going? <laughs> the hat business is great. Never been better. Everyone's wearing hats again. Maddie's always been wearing hats, fortunately. Yeah, yeah. So. I like to say, love your guy's style. And again, there's styles for everybody. That's why I love him so much. So, you know, I'm not really much one to be subdued. But when I am and you see me wearing fedoras, it's always Peter Grimm fedoras. When I'm a little bit more me being me, you see the uh, the drifters. That's a little bit more of my style. And, and like I said, if you're going to be hard pressed not to find a style that, uh, that you or your mistress is not going to love because like i said i've had a long history wearing the hats love them uh much love guys love what you guys have been doing and uh and now i want to turn it over to you guys tell us a little bit of the history of the company what you're doing where you're going maybe some new products that are coming out and uh, i want to open it up to you guys okay okay do you want peter to tell you his story how he started sorry say that again we have some technical difficulties oh. do you want to Peter to tell you the story how we started Peter Graham? Or? Oh, that'd be wonderful, please. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, a lifelong entrepreneur, and uh, my father's a, a, a lawyer by trade in Portland, Oregon, and uh, he was an entrepreneur on the side and, and always meeting interesting people. And uh, I had moved to California, and he told me about a a gentleman he met from Mexico who, who made straw products. And I didn't think much of, a, of it because it was just another one of the interesting people he's met along along his uh, career. And uh, moved to California to get into commercial real estate actually. And, and the market had, had softened and uh, he had sent me a straw hat and I took it to the beach one day and everyone loved it. So. Uh, it was the uh, late 80s and neon fashion was really big. So I, I sewed some fabric on the hats and I, I took it to the beach and sold it to all the surf shops. And uh, the rest is kind of history. <laughs> and, and quite quite a history it's been. And like I said, you see all the <laughs> designs and everything. And uh, 
with COVID, I'm sure much like everybody else, you've been having some some problems probably getting access to distribution and product and everything else like everybody else in every other industry. Yes, absolutely. Worldwide supply chain is 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 crazy, uh, but. Uh, ever since we've opened up, it, demand has been excellent. Business has been really good. So we're excited about that. Everyone's wearing hats again. Everyone loves Peter Grimm. Uh, so we're doing a, a lot of really cool new pieces. And uh, we just uh, are starting to um, uh, launch a collaboration with the Grateful Dead. Uh, so we have a whole collection of Grateful Dead hats coming out. Uh, so we're really excited about that because they're they're uh, just announced that they're uh, touring again. They're going to start their tour. That's in pretty October. awesome. So we just chimed in on a comment, Mr. Phil Smollett. We see you. Uh, he's a big Grateful Dead guy, Smollett. You know you're going to be buying some Peter Grimm Grateful Dead hats there, fella. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Oh, I already know he's fine now. As we see this bee that wants to hurt me, go away, buddy. Uh, <laughs> they're not on the website yet. Yeah. So yeah, just go to the Peter Grimm hats. Uh, yeah, check out how cool the inside is, guys. Pretty wild. Yeah, I yeah, love it. Favorite. Uh, and like I said, there's really something for everything. Uh, you remember years ago, they had a couple of the skull hats out, and uh, I wore those drifters literally everywhere. So the uh, those hats probably got more mileage than some people have flyer mileage in a, in a year. So know that they've gone with me everywhere. Love them. Great stuff. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for people being out there. Yeah. Check out the doors. Check out the drifters. Yeah. Uh, like I said, men, women, uh, there's enough styles literally for everyone. I gotta get. We gotta get one for Saj. I think Saj needs one. Yeah, that looks good. That's the one you got here. Where is the lady? We should have had him on the show. We definitely try to make styles for everybody. This will be a real Indian with a cowboy hat. We'll figure that out. <laughs> And then we have my boy Sean Fever. I see he's online right now. He's just checking out the drifters on the website right now. So when you see Sean Fever, oh, we'll charge a minimum of a 72% uplift on hats for Sean. I'm just saying, I love you, Sean, but come on. 72% seems reasonable as an uplift. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So sorry, Sean. I love what we had to do. We have a lot of stock coming in. It's just been slow because it's just on his way out. It's just much love. Yeah. Things yes. are slowly getting shipped to us again. It's been kind of kind of rough on the website, but we're going to get it back up and going with new stock. It's just taking a long time to get here. Yeah, and uh, like I said, everybody, everybody's been burned. Be patient, we'll get burned it back up and going. <laughs> right. Yeah, everyone's been burned on supply chain. Same for cigars, same for spirits, same for everything. Oh, really? oh. Yeah, I think it's yes. <laughs> all the I'm kind of feeling that burn at the same time. I know Tom's had issues. Yeah, yeah. And you so were mentioning you know, people wearing hats again. Is, did you see a trend where they weren't and now they are? The last, what's where did that trend kind of pick back up? Well, it started with uh, with a wide brim sun protection, and um, the, the surf industry adapted it to to. Uh, so all the big surf companies started putting it in their line, and, and we made it for them. And that's when it really started taking off. Uh, we've always been innovators, and everyone's always been, we've always been very creative, and, and the whole headwear industry has been following us, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I think Tom and I need to make some calls to our our prospective people, and we need to maybe some cigar hats and some bourbon hats. Man. That could be, yeah, cigar and bourbon Yes, hats. We, we, we bring some uh, authentic Panamas in from Ecuador. They're perfect for uh, the, the cigar and, and um, beverages. I, like <laughs> I think I think we have to go through our Rolodexes kind of area. I do that, I'm, yes. I mean, it's a little bit selfish because it just means more hats for me, but you know, I, I, I don't care. I think that makes us all happy. Exactly. <laughs> We'll and, do uh, it. We'd, like bring you, we'd like to bring you the host of tonight, of uh, this evening's festivities, oh, yeah. Mr. Mr. Ed Randolph, who's looking very angrily at a lighter that's not working too well right now. So it's an angry look, so I'm going to let him finish lighting that. We have a lot of people that may come in and out here to say hi as, as the evening goes along. What are, you, what are you smoking here, Maddie? What are you trying? So today what I had, and uh, Peter and Aaron, if you're cigar smokers, i got to send out a goodie bag to you. So what we're smoking today is I have a Hoya Nicaragua Cabinetta which has a dual wrapper on it that had the Connecticut and the Maduro. So nice, medium body, smooth, uh, rich, creamy in nature. So real good stuff. 
Um, you guys nice. have your yeah. profile is. I'll make sure that it's about to smell it from here. You know, our new technology was getting better. <laughs> COVID, gave, COVID gave us time for better technology. We got smell vision going. We and, do. Uh, and let them know ear puff. Really I'm having time. this uh, Notinia. Uh, it is a limited edition Notinia, right? Notinia, yep. So, what is the limited edition? How so, we're picking, we're picking an old school box press. Uh, that one is from, I think it says 2012 on there. Uh, so, we have some of our, our local yeah. lovely hosts. So cheers, y'all. We have the Randolph cheers. family. Yes. Cheers. cheers. Thank you guys. Cheers. So cheers. much love to them for hosting us for this fine event. Uh, Mr. Modest over there here is a winner of Chopped. Um, so anybody who comes out here up in the uh, Northeast area, it's definitely worth coming down for some killer barbecue. I know everyone thinks uh, Texas and the Carolinas and everything, but I got to tell you, this has newly become a hot spot for barbecue. We have the likes of Ed Randolph cooking up and Sean Kiever and uh, Robert Austin show. So it's really become quite the hot spot. And, you know, most people don't say uh, New York and New Jersey for barbecue. And uh, I've done quite a bit of extensive traveling over the years. And I was usually the guy that did proud of you. Now all I have to do is go harass Ed until, you know, I have enough for four or five people. And then I, <laughs> then I eventually go on my way and slug off. So yeah. That was a Excellent. delicious. We're, we had some great we're big shop fans. Yeah. Hogs. We had a bunch of stuff Today was great. Today we had a whole hog brought to us by Tank Jackson, Holy City Hogs out of South Carolina, uh, Charleston area. Uh, we also did some pastrami beef ribs. We had some prime rib. What else we had? We had some smoked turkey. Uh, put everything out there. It was a great day of Ruiz. It was a great day of uh, bourbon. Great day of cigars. Uh, a lot of good people. A lot of good times. And uh, a lot of good food. Oh, yeah. Wonderful stuff. Really, really great team here. Yep. Had, had a, had a Excellent. Great Oh, we did. We, we, we sponsored a couple of race teams, so the guys yeah. brought the cars on out today. We had a couple of hot rods here in the parking lot. Uh, it's all about community here. It's all about family. It's, it's about keeping everything as local as we can. Yes. Yes. So nice. if any questions for uh, Peter Graham or for any of these great folks, ask them down below. Make sure you uh, like this video, share it on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere. And uh, we've been having some great whiskey. We had some Hudson here. Some uh, Kings County, some Peerless, of course. What did you have? Really nice. The Mitchers family. Um, the Bomber. 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 Yes. That was the, good. The second owner of the Mitchers family. Yes. They sold it actually to. This, this has some real history to it. Yeah. Made some great cocktails inside. And again, the barbecue is something. Everything delicious. Thank you. This, yeah, this is an amazing and, place. And I have to live by carriers. Cigars, sleep. libations, so, and pilgrim headwear. I, I don't wear. to Coco Chico. <laughs> So, so I gotta live. I'll live vicariously like through the Topo Chico. And somebody just said we gave that a hell of a pitch for moving to the area. Why? Thank you very much. Because we were ambassadors. Anything about barbecue will definitely bring people to the area. So I, I feel that that was a good a good stand we just made there. Oh yeah, yeah. Peter, what was the first hatch you had in your collection? What was the very first one? Uh, it was the California lifeguard hat. It's a wide brim straw hat that has become a, a worldwide trendy sun protection hat. Nice. Yep. And, and as you've seen, I, I've worn it. I'll be I'll be wearing mine. If if COVID doesn't cancel my Bahamas trip, that'll be being happily worn in the Bahamas. If not, you'll be seeing yes, me sit in a pool with rubber boots, really pissed off wearing it. <laughs> so I'm hoping option A remains viable and not me in a kiddie pool with rubber ducks with it. So that'll we'll be see. your lifeguard attire, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll see how the shakes out. Don't yeah. really want to see B. I don't even want to see B. <laughs> but we're also known very much for our drifter hats, and and that's uh, we coined the phrase drifter for that that silhouette of and and style and shape that uh, you're wearing right now. It's Outstanding. Kind of a, a western, but not quite cowboy. More, a little more rock and roll. Yeah, because they don't really go for like the Manny. cowboy thing. Like when, when, you know, when your family comes from like the Bronx, they don't really go for the cowboy thing. So the rock and roll drifter definitely works. Yeah. There you <laughs> go. Exactly. So having people, a cowboy from Texas to, from the Bronx, just like, uh-huh. So I'm like, oh, really? Look. <laughs> like, but, you know, I love this. I call this more the uh, the Rob Zombie style look. I love it. Um, everywhere nice. I wear it, it gets, it gets awesome. Popped. So, and... Um, and like I said, for the 4th of July, you saw, so for all my patriotic friends out there, anyone yes. from the United yes. States, USA Drifter. That became a trend across the country, that, that American flag hat. And it's great. I love it. I own a couple of them because I, I go through them. Um, and like I said, those poor hats get tortured. They Again, they go everywhere with me. So it's fun. Well, we know where you can get more. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter on Instagram all the time. 
and, and follow on Instagram. So anyone who's not following Peter Grimm on Instagram right now should be following Peter Grimm on Instagram right now. So that was kind of my direct order for the day. So I, I hope we're okay Thank with that. <laughs> So you will get a follow from Handsome Devil Barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> so you now have Excellent. a Handsome Devil following. Uh, awesome. <laughs> now, is there any, any any new stuff that we could be privy to that you have coming out that we're going to be oogling and want to buy? Yeah, we're just about to publish the new line for 2022. So it, it'll be up on the website in about 30 days or so. And uh, a new catalog and uh, all the new Grateful Dead stuff. So lots of new drifters. So check them out. Lots of new rock and roll styles. Uh -huh. Really cool stuff. All right. So there, there's my sales pitch right there. Because you're not going to be going for the, for the rock and roll drifters. Because my wife's definitely not tired of seeing more hats yet. So there's going to be more hats. Hashtag you got to get your wife some hats. Yep, yep. Oh, I've done that too. I'm, I'm shameless in my game. I have no problem saying it. Like, but look, here's our match. She's like, all right, these are pretty cool, but no more. I'm like, yeah. So she saw it didn't work with cigars. She knows it's not going to work with hats. So, so it's just, you know, like, hey, I'm like, this is your fault. You knew what you were getting. Where did you get your very first Peter Grimm hat, Maddie? Did you get it online or from a store? Do you remember? As a, as a matter of fact, I do remember. I was at a state fair two oh, yeah? ago, and one of and one of the vendors was at the state fair, and it was my first drifter hat was one of the blonde straw drifter hats. And you're talking, probably don't want to age myself too much. At least minimum twenty something years ago. Oh so, my gosh, that's yep, fantastic! So I'm like, I need to have that. And then ever since, it's been drifters and fedoras and more fedoras and and drifters and lifeguard hats and actually i, I want to say that my next one was probably was the lifeguard hat um especially when you're doing promotions and you're, you're out in the field and everything and you know most of my time you know 20 some odd years ago was spent out in fields you know cooking in the summer so what protected you lifeguard hat um exactly so pictures yes. you dig up and go put online you'll see me waddling around with my my peter grim lifeguard hats on Nice. Cool. Nice. Can we get you in a bucket hat by any chance? I do have bucket hats too. Yes, indeed. Oh, you do. Yeah, bucket hats. I, 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 have, I have the whole. I have the whole line. I am a Peter Grimm fanboy, and I, I have no shame in admitting it. Oh man, <laughs> fantastic! That's great. Uh, you and a lot of other rock and rollers. We so, we have yeah. So you heard that. So coming coming from the man with the plan, we will need a Peter Grimm official. Peter Grimm official uh, yes. handsome devil commissioned hat. Mexican barbecue. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll, we'll have a nice little Peter Grimm hat here, and uh, we'll, we'll make it be for the uh, the elite to wear it. Maybe we can even take a couple to raffle them off and then raise like some money for charity. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So we plan to, to make this an annual event. So when we get some yes. dates together, we will send them out to you. It would be an honor and a privilege to have you guys out here. Like I said, we love what you do, um, and for what we do, we think it's great. We're all about you know fine spirits and whiskeys and bourbon and cigars and food and what's important to part of and that head with that. is right spirits. exactly that's right here so that all blends in perfectly um and i think it makes everybody happy putting all those things together so just to us absolutely to have you guys uh oh, yeah. here with us sharing sharing today yeah, with and us. plus we got a patio here with a little tiny tent we could use a hat from the sun so we, we need some help <laughs> <laughs> just instagram me i'll get you some hats Perfect. Well, thank you. Love it. No, it's so nice. So, and I always get a new hat for um, Kentucky Derby. Oh, that's right, Derby. See, I have the Derby attire today. I usually do that when I'm out pouring whiskey. Uh, any uh, Derby appropriate hats you might have? You, you yes, of course. Bit? Some beautiful fedoras. Nice. Oh, very they're nice. Ecuador. They're they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So I'll have to do some so of those. We'll I'll have to do hat because I just can't help. Everyone, guys, yeah, have a good one. Good 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 everybody. Good 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 so I see there's nothing cool as doing live from an event. So many good people here. So we can all pull up, which is awesome. So I can't do the cool bow tie. I just I just can't pull it off. So I'm gonna have to pull off the derby hat. I think you could. I think you could do that. Yeah, but mine yes. are like clipping, right? You just do the little. You could know. still do that. It'll look good. You know, right. in the '70s, they had those Ranger <laughs> clip-on ties. That that was probably me. What's your? Where's your bow tie? Hold on. Boop. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that that's probably where it begins and ends with me, there, Tom. <laughs> so, and uh, with Peter Grimm, are you guys uh, any events we're gonna be seeing yeah. you at? Any uh, any any things coming up we might want to plug as well? 
Well, actually, I'm just about to board a plane to the biggest fashion show in the country in Las Vegas, the Magic Project Show. All right. That's pretty sweet. It's next week, right? This is where a lot of retailers from all over the country come and, and, and look for great hats for their stores. One of our friends are here now, one of our sponsor of our event, she's headed out to Magic. So I think she leaves tomorrow to head out there to see you guys. Oh, so, nice. Uh, yeah. Tell her to stop by and say hello. I will have her nice. stop by Peter Grimm uh, hats and they say hello. Yes, excellent. Perfect. It's the first time to a trade show to a, for, a, for a long time because of COVID, so it'll be right. fun. Yes, I, I think it's a mask mandate in Nevada, but uh, at least we're getting right. out. Thank you, Mayor. All right, take care. Thank you, Mayor. Take care. Thank you. Take care, guys. Take care. The mayor see, came and, 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 and see, we're, we're, we're a little bit spiffy. We even had the mayor come. So we're, yeah. See, we, I can class it up a little bit, even though I had nothing. I had nothing to do with the mayor being here, but I'll 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 say I did just to fly blatantly. You know, Maddie can can class it up a bit. No, it was, it was absolutely not because of me. I tried. I do my taxes with them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to see trade shows back. We're we're all keeping our fingers crossed. As a matter of fact, we just got a. Uh, we received a nasty blow from corporate that our events for the rest of the year just got pulled again because of COVID. So we're keeping our fingers crossed for everybody else. Um, I just really looking forward to seeing the light at the end of this tunnel. So I see more bumps. Aren't we all? Rough stuff, but uh, you know, if we all stick together, we'll make it through. Yes. Thanks for yeah. supporting us through COVID, yeah. Maddie, and getting your hats. <laughs> oh, always, Helps. always, like I said. Um, it's important for us the way the way Tom and I and our and everybody who's on the show partners together. It's important to take care of uh, to take care of your local businesses and take care of your people and uh, and to remember that we're all here out looking out for each other. And um, nice, there's a lot of so bad to this, but I think the good part is to remember who your people are, remember your network, and at the end of the day, everybody should be out there supporting each other. Uh, not just during good times, but during the dark times. And uh, and I think- Yeah, if, cheers you know, to that. Salud, if there's anything yeah, we've cheers, learned. Cheers. <laughs> so we definitely learned that. Uh, so that's been really important. Yeah. Um, so what we'll do is when I get my corporate events back online, yeah. uh, we hope to see uh, Peter and Aaron in one of our shows. And we hope to see a couple other things that we're working on. Um, before the end of the year, we do have a couple things that we're toiling around yeah. on our own outside that's of what right. we're doing. Yep. Um, we will reach out to you if it looks like something that, that makes sense for you guys. We'd love to have you as our guests. Yes. Nice. That would be fantastic. Yeah. We would love to support. Thank you. Outstanding. So or we'll, for some reason they're watching and they want to uh, have you just come out with whiskey and cigars, reach out to us. You know, anybody who's watching, we'd love to bring some whiskey and cigars. To you. Uh, absolutely. So yep. anything you need. Whiskey, yeah. cigars, and hats. Cigars, whiskey, hats. I, I like the way that rolls off the tongue. And, and, and I can and, and attest as somebody who's done it. These guys are great. It's as professional as an event that you're ever going to get. It's a fun time. Um, I need to run back and check my kitchen because we're opening up for dinner service now. So thank you, everybody. Peter Aaron, if you can make something, we call it barbecue medium, but it's it's a big head. So if it's a five gallon bucket, it'll fit over mine. So uh, I'll be in touch with you. Do a little barbecue addition, something like that. So I appreciate it. Perfect. Guys, keep doing it. And uh, thank you very much for being on tonight. All right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. We're getting excited and, 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 and eat more barbecue later because that's what I'm really good yeah, at. So really <laughs> very, very skilled at eating copious amounts okay. of, of beef <laughs> and turkey and everything else that's not nailed down. Some good turkey today too. It, it, it was. And like I said, well, I, I'm I'm quite carnivorous. Usually, when you show me turkey, I sigh a little bit. I did none of that today. No, it was amazing. And that white sauce today was delicious. There was a question: How does the sizing run? Do I need an extra, extra large? How do you, if you're ordering, uh, actually, the, the, uh, we make a lot of uh, hats, double extra large for the, the big heads, the ones with a lot of brains, but most uh, of them are one size fits all. If, yeah, my thing yeah, that I tell people, if it's my mastodon size head, more than likely it's going to fit you because I don't ask for larger, extra large. I go, do you have mastodon? Like, what am I, mastodon? That's, that's the side of my head. That's what I need a hat for. And guys, <laughs> yeah, every one of their hats has, uh, has fit this dome. Well, I know that's that's incredible considering this thing orbits around like Venus and Mercury, but these things <laughs> these things fit beautifully as you see. So. You're a good hat model. Uh, yeah, they're uh, comfy. He really is. As long as you don't see the face, if it's grayed out a little bit, maybe. Yeah. So, is what there, did they say it's a face? I have a face for radio. You're you have, well, the face is good. How do you find hat models? Is there a way? You, what, what do you look for for a hat model? Uh, Notice well, I'm going to dead style. Yeah. You what? What'd you say? Yeah. 
Anybody can be a hat model, really. Anybody can be. So you can you. Maddie's an excellent hat model. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I can call on that. I can call anybody. <laughs> All right, you guy. I, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. It, and it works. So that, that makes me happy. Um, so everybody, again, who's not following, please give Peter Grimm a follow online. Take a look at their their the corporate website, petergrim.com, as well. Here, we'll, we'll show you uh, one of our uh, Grateful Dead collab hats. Oh, wow. All right. Look, guys, it's, look, guys uh, and gals. This not is the clean. lifeguard hat. This is where it all started. I know Smilowitz is looking at this. Oh. Feel your face. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Phil, I'm waiting yeah. to see your comment. Did you buy it yet? Even though it's not it's not online yet, well, correct? So that just supply chain issues have, have uh, delayed our launch. But uh, and then we make them also for um, if you have a little little guy who likes these are the dancing turtles. This is for like Junior for the little guys or even for you know I like it because the brim is a little bit smaller. I, I, I'd but wear it for my white my masculine on size. All uh, different for, styles. I like the underneath of it. See, it really yeah. protects you from the sun yeah. and protects your eyes from the sun. If they're all UPF 50 plus. We make them crushable, packable, so you can travel with them. We're always playing around with new materials to uh, uh, actually what, what started the whole drifter line is we came out with a hat to make it look like it was a hat that you had had for years. So uh, we took shoe polish and put it on there to make it look kind of dirty and worn in. That more distressed look, right? Uh, yeah. And it became a big term in the headwear industry, tea stained. Yeah. And I, yep, and I have, and as you've seen, I have your tea-stained hats. So it's shoe yep. polish. <laughs> shoe polish. You guys and girls fire. learned something today. It was not Natty Rock sweat, so back it off. Okay, <laughs> you heard. It'd be like Natty sweating like a hog, like tea stain. You heard it. Shoe polish. Back it off. You might have added a little bit to it, but maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit of Natty Rock sweat. But you heard it. That it was shoe polish. So all right. So now, we started now, with we're, shoe polish. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not shoe polish anymore. It evolved. No, well, well, actually, it is still shoe polish, but we buy it in huge, giant drums now instead of the little uh, packet for your shoe. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I can't, I, I, I can't even keep that uh, Around I can't my uh, manufacturing yeah, shoe warehouse <laughs> uh, of all the small shoe polish because we were just shoe polishing hats all day long, every day. It became a big trend. <laughs> got to watch out. The shoe polish mafia will show up. Hey, you're using up all of our supply. We have an offer you can refuse. We kept them in business. <laughs> yep. yep that, that, that was the day they learned who the shoe polish mafia was and that they did indeed exist. And they had to buy more. They had to buy a big supply. And, you know, <laughs> the shoe polish mafia is shaped now. I I well, we, have, we have lots of stories like that where we've, we've done uh, a lot of innovative uh, features to the uh, and embellishments to the hats over the years that have become trends in the headwear industry. In fact, even the one size elastic stretch, when we came out with that, people thought we were crazy because the headwear business was always seven and one eighths or whatever your headwear size was. And nobody thought yeah, it would work. Not that. Yeah. 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 I think I, I think I was five and it was probably seven and one eighths. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's why, like I said, another reason I love the hats. Everything always fits perfectly. Like I said, being out in the field with these hats for so much, even wins. They, you know, you don't see me running around chasing hats, mostly because I'm husky and I don't run and chase anything, Tom. So uh, they, they, they stay where they're supposed to, because if they were to fall off, I really wouldn't be chasing them, and someone would be blessed enough to go, "Oh my God, look at this great Peter Grimm hat." I'd be like, "Look, man, I'm not running. Find your sneakers, dude. God bless." So, you, you beat me today. You got the W. Nice. As we're friends, I mean, it, you, we've seen a lot of uh, styles from um, yesteryear come back. What do you think will be coming back, or what will be the trends the next year or two? What do you What are you thinking? Well, the, the felts are a, a big trend again, from like the, yeah. the hats that they used to wear in the 20s uh, with the, an updated uh, flare. Yep, and I saw, I saw yeah. some of the, if you go on the site now, they have a whole bunch of those felt hats released, so yep. And, it, and it's pretty so, cool going uh, back. You know, almost kind of gangster hats, but but even even tea staining and distressing the felts is is a a, a trend. Yeah, oh wow! Wow! Well, check out the uh oh. 
I, I just saw the inside of that one hat. So I just hear Dina groaning right now. She's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good yep, skull. Look at that. This is Peter Graham. Yep, yep, yep. Like you're kind of gangster, you know, gangster rock and roll. <laughs> I should have a cigar and a cocktail. I know. You're, you're oh going gosh. to. You're going to. So we will. Uh, we will send you out a nice package. So, so you have some stuff to chill out at and uh, and smoke with and enjoy. And the hats. I think that'd be a perfect look. Smoke. Yeah, it really right. Right. Likewise. Get some. Get some zoot suits on there. Yes. <laughs> are, are we bourbon drinkers? Uh, you like bourbon? I, I like vodka. You like vodka, vodka too, Peter? Scotch. We'll make sure we send you something. Oh, yeah, like something. Nice. thank you. Like I, like I said, I, I tapped out years ago. So unless you just want, you know, some Topo Chico or, or something, it, my, my beverages are much less, uh, much less uh, appealing these days. So I live vicariously for everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah. So we had some good whiskeys today. Some good whiskey, some good cigars. Um, what's what's coming up? What are we looking at the next few weeks here? So we gotta we gotta figure out our guests because we just mentioned before to everybody listening, yeah. and I hope it's not a surprise to people listening. So right. all the large corporate real estate events have been pulled uh, because of COVID. So Peter and Aaron know what we're talking about. So the 2,500 person E25 uh, event outside of Dallas has been canceled. Uh, all of the barn smokers have been canceled. Uh, we have withdrawn from uh, Rocky Mountain Cigar Fest in Greensfield, uh, Colorado, and uh, unfortunately, all other large events until further notice. So we got uh, we got derailed and COVIDed. So we are hoping that in the near future that uh, we come to the tail end of this. You know, we were kind of hoping that was the case for this year, but I guess with the variant, uh, people are still worried and nervous. Um, uh, I understand it. Um, I just missed the togetherness of seeing everyone together. I'm, we're all blessed that we have digital technology where we can do what we do like this today. Um, but really, the whole idea of doing all this, and even the, the hats included in the talk, is everybody uh, wanting to be together. That's right. And, uh, I think that's the most important thing. So, again, this is just another little bump in the road, and uh, we'll all be together again soon. Yes. Yeah, yes. hopefully. Yeah. Dirty or yes. And they and they might come back on the on the forefront. These the police are suspended for now. Yep, yep. I'm a I'm a realist, so I don't. You know, I I uh, I kind of hold out hope, but right. not really, because we all know what the colder months have a tendency to do. Fingers are, I've been crossing fingers. I've been knocking on wood. Um, you know, there's no guarantees, and that's anything again that's taught you. Enjoy what you have. Enjoy the together. Uh, enjoy being with your friends and your family. You don't take anything for granted because those things can you do for granted can and have been taken away. So, you know, keep your eye on what's going on around you and uh, learn to be a little bit more appreciative. So, if you've learned anything, I think that's the one thing. Absolutely. That so, that's the big thing. Um, I agree. Anything else that you guys would like to announce or everything else quiet until you get uh, until that supply <laughs> chain opens up? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, sorry, <laughs> I missed that one. I said, is there anything else? I know I know that you're still waiting for supply chain to open. Is there anything else that's on the cusp of coming out that you want to talk about? Or, or is that for another show until we wait until things open up a little yeah. bit? Yeah, let's have another show. 2022 line and the Grateful Dead. And, just, and then just trying to get the hats back in stock for the website. But that yeah, will be very soon. Too. Yeah. The fact is, they, you know, they open up, they shut down, they open up, they shut down, and we bring in from all around the world, so it's been challenging, but it's starting to, to be more consistent now, so, so we're excited about just, just getting back to normal, like everyone. All of our fingers are crossed that everybody yeah. can uh, yeah. can get back out there, enjoy their livelihood, and enjoy people. Uh, once again, Tom and I want to thank you very, very much for being our guest this evening. Thank, thank you. you very much. Yes. We appreciate you. Yeah, you. Nice you. Everybody who's nice not following again, fun to meet you all. On Instagram, guys, follow Peter Grimm. Go to petergrimm.com, take out the catalog. Like I said, I know for a fact a couple of my friends are already oogling the uh, the Grateful Dead stuff without a doubt. You know that oh, uh, I'll awesome. probably just put your four and I'll be sleeping on the couch. <laughs> that's right. That's right, Phil. I sold you out, buddy. So we will be on. We'll be on soon. Are we doing the coffee yeah. grab? Oh, yeah, we can do. Well, we can do a coffee grab. We can do. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, okay. Yes. Let me see. Okay. So let's have you pick a number, uh, Peter or 
Yeah, Peter, why don't you pick it? Between 1 and uh, 25. 1 and 25. 21. All right. So for the people that liked, shared, commented, all those great things, number 21, let's do uh, – okay, 21 is Sean Krever. Kiever. So Kiever. look at – Do you know Sean? Back, so, yeah. So Sean was just sitting yeah. online talking, picking up some hats, and now there he's going to coffee. So another project that uh, that we're involved with is, uh, is by a bunch of guys from Janice Coffee, actually brothers uh, from Wyoming, uh, yes. where you don't think of coffee roasting. That's what makes it so cool. So two brothers, Janice, Janice Coffee Roasters out of Wyoming. We'll make sure that we uh, we send you guys out a bag as well. So Sean Kiever, you just want a bag of that coffee. All right, Sean. And Aaron, we will be sending Oh, nice. Fantastic. So, Delicious stuff. Age in a bourbon barrel. Incredible coffee. Really nice. Janus Coffee Room. And who's coming next week? Who do we have next well, week? Well, next week we were, we were up until Thursday going yeah. to be to be broadcasting live, but it would have been uh, Jonathan Drew. But now that uh, we've been sidetracked, we will have a new guest uh, decided sometime during the week after we just had the uh, the downfall of all of our events and, uh, and broadcasting on the road. So. Around the block with Maddie Rock has been curtailed it's, back into, uh, you know, my desk wherever I'll be standing or what, or what empty field I'll be standing. In. They're gonna be. I think they'll be seeing us both sometime soon together, someplace out there. No, we have for a, all those that are watching, and we yeah. appreciate all the love you've shown us, the support you've shown us for Cigar Saturday. Some of them even came today. Some of the fans came today. They did. They did they indeed. Did. Yeah. Came out to be a great day. Like I said, keep your eyes, gals and guys out there. We will be doing some smaller events. Uh, you know, nothing will make up for the for these other grand events, but again, in the spirit of togetherness, we'll be throwing some other smaller events. Anybody who's looking to do tastings and pairings, reach out to Tom and I. Uh, we'll set up events for you because uh, we're still happy to be on the road until right. we get our we get our wings clipped. So up until that point, uh, reach out to us. We'll see what you do. You and Aaron, any events that you see that we're doing that you'd like to be a part of, you just give a shout out. It would be an honor to uh, to have you as part of our events. Oh, fantastic! Okay, great. And when we yeah, look forward to meeting you in person. I see a couple. I still, I still got the hippie hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they, the hippie hair is going to stay because they, you know, there's been no button down shirts with ties that really need to be tied instead of clipped on. So I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep riding it out until Wally Nelson asked me to give him his hair back. So, whichever, whichever comes first. Thank That's you happening. guys. Cheers, y'all. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you very much. Until next week, we'll see you Cigar Saturday on Bourbon Blog Live. That's right. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Cheers live here okay. from Newburgh, New York. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, live. Cheers everybody. All right. Well, that was fun. Hey, thanks again for watching us, and make sure you watch all of our Cigar Saturdays. They're all up on our YouTube channel, forward slash Bourbon Blog, our podcast. And we'll be back again next week. Yes, we will. Much love, everyone. Much Stay love, tuned for everybody. our next guest. Cheers. Nice, man. They were cool.